right everybody got an awesome video for you here today i'm up in that mars hydro grow tent under that mars hydro tsl 2000 and we got some veggies going now today i got something new happening here i'm gonna be trying out these big beef steak tomatoes these are the big beef hybrids these are non-gmo seeds from mckenzie uh, I'm going to be trying these out. It says about uh, 7 to 14 days for germination. Um, these are really like, obviously, instructions are for outdoor sowing and start indoors and plant it outdoors. I'm going to be doing the whole thing indoors. And what I noticed is when I do a tomato, I got a lot of space around the rim there. And what I'm planning right now is we're going to do some coriander. You can see how nice this coriander came out, right? Same as that one over there. That's been doing really well. So my plan is to put a little tomato in the middle and some coriander around the rim just to kind of utilize that space over there, right? So you can see over here the tomato. I got some of those right there. These are ready to go. And this is the coriander that I'm going to be using here. This is Caribou Seed Company. I got a really good germination rate on these organic seeds. Very nice. They're doing, they're, they've been doing really well. You can see over here, I mean, the, you know, germination rate is always a big thing with coriander seeds as well. Now, what are we going to be doing today? Today I got in this water bottle, you can see it's kind of discolored. I got a bunch of stuff in there. And over here, we got the kelp tastic from TNB Naturals. This is North Atlantic kelp meal. Um, we're going to do kind of a top dressing just to kind of help these things out. When they do actually germinate, we're going to have something ready for them. And you can see this stuff over here, that's exactly what it is. I got this uh, little measuring spoon over here, one teaspoon. Okay, and that's what it's set to. And over here in the instructions, it says for top dressing, apply 10 mLs, which is basically two teaspoons uh, per gallon of soil. So we got about a two and a half gallon pot. It's about almost a three gallon pot, but it's not full all the way. So I'm going to say one, and we don't want to overdo it too, right? I mean, these are just seedlings here. So I'm going to say a little bit of a heaping spoonful here. And we're just going to kind of do one of these. You know, just spread it around there. And just kind of work it in a little bit. And then make our little hole in the center there, right? That's going to be for our beef steak tomatoes. I already, I already got two of them here lined up, right? And we're going we're gonna to pop them on in there. And we're going to be good. There's a bunch more in here. And right now I'm just going to close that on up. And then I'm going to open up the sides here a little bit. And we're going to drop some of our coriander in there now. Oh yeah. So I'm just going to kind of drop it on in there, just kind of spread it around. All right. And that's it. That's it, and that's all. I'm all out of seeds here. I used the rest of them. Those I'm going to do, the finish those off for the backyard. I'm going to shoot y'all an update on that when we start, gonna start germinating those indoors as well. Now I'm going to get to this little water bottle here that's discolored. Now the reason it's discolored is because I added a few, a few beneficials, a few additives. Um, no NPK just yet, but I did add the Enricher. For, uh, it's a natural plant booster uh, from TNB Naturals. I added that in there. Uh, I did put a little bit of Vita Thrive Propagation Solution. It says about 1 ml per liter. Uh, and I put like just a little bit less than that, and that's only a five, um, 500 ml bottle. So I mean, I put like maybe a quarter ml. And then over here, we have the liquid weight. This is from Green Planet. This is a uh, carbohydrate. I gave about, you know, half an ml. It's, you know, instructions are one ml per liter. So I did do that to uh, full strength here. Uh, and this is just to kind of give the plants a little bit of something to get going as they pop up, right? You can see over here on the top, I put my usual holes on the top, so it just kind of turns it into a little bit of a, 
squirt hose, right? So that way we're not drenching an area too much more than I would want it to be drenched. You know, we don't want to soak this. We just want to kind of activate the seed, right? So one water bottle for this whole three gallon pot or so should be more than enough. I'll even give some to that jalapeno pepper. You remember the jalapeno pepper we had going on there? I'm going to love that. All right. And then over here, we got our little cup. I'm going to put the cup over the spot where the tomato should be. That's just to kind of help it come along a little some. And that's all there is to it. I did have uh, some, uh, some of the coriander seeds. I put some around here. And you can see that kind of bald spot area there. I put some in there uh, and watered it down. So things are looking so far so good. Uh, over here with our uh, green onions. These are looking awesome too. Everything's doing great. Over here, draw your attention to the uh, weird looking canister here. This is actually a carbon dioxide emitter from TNB Naturals. I come in here once a day give this thing a bit of a shake and it just releases carbon dioxide into the tent here uh, just for these plants to have something going on and that's where we're at so far so I'm going to shoot y'all an update when that tomato starts coming up and we'll see what we got going on thanks for watching y'all take care of a good one now